disappointed that you can. Juliet, you have to believe me. I so much love your friend that I cannot survive without her. I know I have no words to justify my actions. What I had with Sandy was a mere lost. I allowed myself to, to fall for that. I love Rose so much. If there's anything I wish in life, it's to have her back. The betrayal was at its peak. It wouldn't be easy at all. It wouldn't be. I know with you and her mother in the picture, it's going to be possible. All I need is, is a chance to speak with her. I need to explain things to her. I believe she may understand. Please. I'll try, but I'm not promising anything. Please try for me. This is a matter of life and death. You should have thought of that. Believe me, Rose, Ken really loves you. He loves you so much. She wept. He loves me and he was sleeping with my baby sister behind my back. That's true love, right? I know it's not easy to understand, but it's possible for a man to still love you and cheat on you. Yes. I, I don't want that kind of love. Juliet, I do not want a cheat as a husband. Look, it's hard for me, but this marriage is over. It can't work. Fine. Please, can you just hear him out? Even if you don't want to continue with the marriage. No, please. no. Just this once. No. And I thought that you can make your own decision. I told you I do not want to see him. Please, Rose. No. Rosie, please. Please. No. I... Please, <sighs> just hear him just this once. I'm sorry, forgive me for no time sake Forgive me for no time sake As requested, I'm here and I'm ready to listen to what you have to say. For all time's sake, please forgive me. It's an honest mistake. Baby, you know I never will hurt you. You know I can't live without you. I'm not too proud to beg. Baby, you. 
thank you for this opportunity. First of all, I know. I know I'm not worthy to be called your husband again. What I did was an abominable act in the sight of God and in the sight of men. I'm here to tell you my own side of the story. You're not obliged to forgive me. But if you do, I will be the happiest man on earth. But if you don't, it's all your choice. I'm listening to you. Please, you don't have to kneel. Stand up. I didn't mean to hurt you. I wouldn't have thought about it. It was just your... your high trust for your sister that led me to unavoidable mistake. That took a better part of me. I couldn't control myself. I didn't just know what I was doing. It all started this way. I said I was going to give it to you this morning while I'm on my way to work. What happened? I forgot. And I intentionally kept it on the center table. So I won't forget while going out this morning. Yes, I did. So what are you going to do now? I need it this morning. Where are you now? I'm almost at my office. You have to turn back to get it. Ah, because no, 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 please, I can't. I'm already at the office. For my love, I need it this morning. Please, can you just drive by my house and pick it up? It's on the center table. Okay. But I can't go to your house when you're not there. Well, my sister is at home. And you think it's wise for me to go there alone? No, no. It's not to go there. Take your wallet. I trust you and I know you have self-control. What, what is the one that... Come on. Meaning? Meaning I can leave you with my younger sister and I won't have any reason to be afraid or worried. It's not about me, it's about your sister. No, no, no. Uh -uh. Listen, my sister is a born again. She doesn't have time for such worldly things. I can vouch for her any day, any time. Listen, I'm 100% confident. Don't even go there. She doesn't have that time, and if you try to mess with her, she will tell me. Okay, okay. Uh, let me go there. All right, great. So I'm 100% confident. Go there, take your wallet, even if you want to misbehave. She will not allow you. I trust her. No, I said even if. Huh? 
I trust you. I trust you. Let me go. Let me go. Problems, but really, but actually, I, I came to um, collect the wallet, and the wallet I've, I've collected. I, I didn't mean to distract you. No, sir, you don't distract me. I don't do anything. I'm sorry. It's not me. Please. Okay. Bye. You didn't see anything. Um. <laughs> Next time, I, I, I think you should lock the door. Very important. Your body wants to ebonge. You must answer. You must say yes. Nothing where you go tell them. Something they hungry. You must scratch this, scratch you. Body no one knows. Yeah? Excuse me, brother. I want to see you. Okay. Privately, brother. Please, I want to discuss something with you. Alright, let's talk. Pri privately, inside. Let's go inside, sir. Inside? Somewhere private. We can talk. Just say whatever thing you want to say here, man. I'm, I'm all ears. We need somewhere private, sir. Okay. Come in then. Please, please don't tell my sister to saw. She will be disappointed, please. Okay. I won't tell her. Sir, promise me. Promise me you won't tell her, please. Just promise me. But why? I mean... Why would you indulge in such unholy act? Sir, that's the problem. I've tried so much to stop these habits, but the more I try, the more I find myself doing it. This habit is killing me. Sorry, sir. Don't you have a boyfriend? No, no, sir. You know, when I was growing up, 
I I love the things of God. So it, it made everyone around me, including my mother and my sister, see me as a saint. So they started expecting more than I could give them from me. I, I'm sorry. Uh, it's because I do not want to disappoint them. Whenever the urge to be with a man comes, <laughs> I don't have any man to meet or be with, so I resorted to this. I'm sorry, sir. How often do you do this? Sir, please. <laughs> It's whenever I'm alone that this urge comes. Whenever I'm alone. Please, don't tell my sister, please. But don't you think it's best I tell your sister so she can allow you to have a boyfriend? Hey. Sir, so, so no. No, my sister. My sister sees me like Mary Madeline. She, 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 she loves the way I love God. She loves the way I go to church. She will be disappointed, sir. Please. Sir, please do this for me. Please don't tell her. Sir, please, Sister Rose has helped me a lot. Please. Okay. I've, I've heard all you said, but I still maintain as best I... I let your sister know she can allow you to have a boyfriend. I mean, you're old enough to have one. I think she's protecting you from having a boyfriend because... She's scared you might end up with the wrong person. But if you get someone that loves you for who you are, why not? We all will support you. Instead of doing this on the couch all the time. You're not young. But it's okay, I've heard what you said. I won't tell her, I promise. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. It's okay. Bye, bye sir. Thank you. Growing up into a woman, save God. Stop am na wow. Your head the go de to wang. Body no de for argument you. Body no one know. When body come, when your body's calling, you must say yes, sir. You must scratch the scratch you. Body no one know. When your body, you must say yes, sir. Nothing where you go tell them. Something the hunter. No matter how you play. If you know certain Oh my god What have I just done? I love Rose so much I am not supposed to be hurting her God What have I done? Something the hungry You must scratch the scratch you But in a wonder You must say yes, like a motor. See fire. You must say yes, Nothing where you go tell them. Something the hungry You must scratch this, scratch you. But you know one do. Scratching, scratching. Must to answer. But you need scratching, no. Sabbising, You must say yes, just like a motor. Nothing where you go tell them. Something the hungry you must scratch this, scratch you, but you know what? No, you must answer. You must say yes. Sir. Nothing where you go tell them something the hungry. You must scratch this, scratch you, but you know what? No, you must answer. You must.
What is it? It's nothing, it's nothing. It's just me and my usual forgetting. So, what did you forget? Ah, oh, I borrowed Ken's juicer and I promised I was going to return it to him today because I know he will need it to blend fruits for the office. But I forgot, as usual. So, what do we do now? Or should I turn back? No, no, no. Just take me to the office. Okay. Um, listen, when you drop me at the office, you go back to the house. Tell Sandra on top of the deep freezer, she'll see the juicer there. Please collect it from her, take it straight to Ken's house. If he isn't at home, just give it to Suli, the security man. Okay, ma. Mm. Oh, me and forgetting things. Like five and six. to waste this kind of money now. Ah. I don't they knock since like even now even heaven they knock at least God go open one of the angels go open. <laughs> See time don't they go now. And money now be man now. The money time because they make money. Are you no longer coming this morning? Baby, I'm already in the office. Really? So how about my blender? I told you I'll be needing it this morning. Did my cabman bring it to you? No. No one came here. Hey, let me call him. Okay, baby, I'm waiting, eh? This morning, uh, I believe when you get to the airport, uh, no. oh god, guy, pick your call now. Hello, Auntie Rose. Yeah, I came to your house this morning, I was knocking, and nobody opens the door for me. Yes, I came to the house. I knocked the door. Then I had to leave because no one was opening for me. 
and you know this is morning. I'm morning the man. Uh, uh, I've already carried another passenger. I'm on my way to the airport. Yes, ma. when I was taking my bath. Yes, yes, in the kitchen. Yes. Okay, ma. Okay. Oh. Ah, yes. Okay. Okay. This is not a prayer, matter, no matter how you pray. If you know, set to nobody. Wahala go day, you need some ro ro ro. Some romance, some ta ta ta. Some touching. Anyhow it be. But you know one know When body calling You must answer When your body's calling You must say yes Nothing where you go tell them Something they hungry am I hope it does Where are you going? No, no You eh? I be her younger sister. I be. I don't see her. What for now? And please, is your boss around? My sister sent you to do something. Hey, my younger sister. Inside. Inside. Hey. Hey. My. What did you come with? Be out. This is my younger sister. Where, where? Who pass more something? Just a little difference. Your sister sent you. Uh, yes, brother. She's asking to give you this. Okay, just drop it there. Okay, brother. Well, I'll be with you. All right. Hey, brother. Brother, I just want to say thank you for not reporting me to my sister. Thank you very much. God bless you. It's all right. I already promised I, I won't. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Um, can you... Blend fruits? Sir? Can you blend fruits? Yes, I can blend fruits. Okay, can you help me with blending um, fruits? Okay, yes, I, I can help you, brother. Here's your kitchen. That way, Get to lick you when you begin move to stop 
Let me be going. When your body's calling, you must say yes. Nothing where you go tell them. Something the hungry am. You must scratch they scratch you. Body no one do. When your body calling, you must answer. You be like say body want something. Oh. You must say yes. Nothing where you go tell them. Something the hungry am. You must scratch they scratch you. But in a wonder, scratch it, scratch it, you must answer. Hey. But he calling, you must say yes. Nothing where you go tell them, something they hungry am. You must scratch this, scratch you. But in a wonder, not easy to hold body. You must say yes. Hey, oh. Nothing where you go tell them, something they hungry am. You must scratch this, scratch you. Uh -huh. Nothing where you go tell them Something the hungry am You must scratch this scratch you But in a wonder Scratching, scratching You must answer But in it scratching no. Service in service You must say yes Just like a motto Nothing where you go tell them Something the hungry am You must scratch this scratch you But in a wonder You must answer you must say yes. Nothing where you go tell them. Something the hungry am. You must scratch this guy.
scratch, they scratch you. But you know what? I realized how. How happy and relieved your sister was afterwards. She has been in bondage all this while. I'm so ashamed of myself right now. Did I just do it? Brother. Brother, uh, uh, I'm very sorry. It's me that caused it. I'm sorry. Eh? I'm so sorry. He, he chose that. I never knew to end this way. Even if you did not even do it with me, I would have done it with anybody. Because I needed it badly. Oh my God. I feel so I'm ashamed so of myself right now. I feel so ashamed of myself. Huh? Brother, please, don't be offended. See, I promise you, I will never welcome between you and my sister. I will never do anything to hurt my sister. I will not destroy anything. Your relationship is still intact. Please, forgive me. It's okay. It's not entirely your fault. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do anything to jeopardize your relationship with my sister. I promise. I promise, true. Your relationship is still intact, brother. Not brother. Just shut up first, okay? No. You've been all straight and edgy since you got here. <sighs> Not, nothing, maybe I Something even... is eating you up. I can see it. Out with it. <sighs> nothing, baby. I was just... I know what is wrong. You don't have to keep a straight face. Just tell me. You want us to spend time at your place instead, right? That's not a problem. Let me change and then we can go. Deal? Something the hungry am. You must. Ah. 
Ultra. I need to send you to Ken's house. Because I promised him I was coming over with soup. Tell him I said I'm exhausted. Just a little rest and I'll be over. Open the big freezer. Okay. The soup I just put, the one with the green cover, the small plate. Uh, Take it to him. Microwave it. Then you can make small and serve him. Just tell him I said, please, I am exhausted. And then I'll be over soon. Okay, sister. Bye. Hurry up, hurry up, people. Sends me to you. She says she's not feeling fine. That she come and help her make dinner for you. She's not feeling fine. Yes. What is wrong with her? I think malaria or typhoid. Okay. Baby, your sister said you're not feeling fine. Oh, so sorry, my love. Have you taken medicine? Okay, I'll be stopping by then. Why? You don't need to say that, I'm coming. Okay, bye, talk to you later. Stop am now wow. Your head you go there to one no the argument you but you know one no when body calling you must answer when you must say yes sir. nothing where you go tell them something the nothing where you go tell them something the hungry am. you must scratch they scratch you but you know one no this is not a prayer matter, no matter how you pray. If you know settle nobody, huh, while I go there, you need some ro -ro -ro, some romance, some ta -ta -ta, some touching. Anyhow we be, but you know one no. When body calling, you must answer. When your body's calling, you must say yes. Sir. Hey, Nothing where you go tell them. Something the hungry you must say yes. Nothing where you go tell them. Oh no. Not again. Not again. I promised myself that that was going to be the last. I'm sorry, I hate to see you feel this way. How I wish I could resist you whenever the urge comes. You need a boyfriend. That is what you need. 
If I start seeing any guy now, how am I going to hide it from my sister? She's going to find out. And she already knows that I'll be here by now. You're old enough to have a boyfriend. You don't understand these things, do you? I don't. Like, my sister sees me like a saint. She sees me like a decent girl. She sees me like a virgin. I don't want her to be disappointed. Like, she believes so much in me. She sees me like that good church girl. You don't get it, right? I'm your sister's soon-to-be husband. You're not meant to be doing this. I know. I know. Well, please, don't get angry now. Calm down. Nobody's going to know about our secrets. Are you ready to bring it out? No, me, I'm not ready. Um, this is our little secret. Eh? Please, don't get angry. Eh? I don't want you to say you're going to stop seeing me. Please, nobody's going to find out. Eh? I see, I understand that you're my sister's husband. She's also my sister and I don't want to hurt her. I'm not, I'm not going to intrude. I'm not going to come out like, start trying to own you, no. I just want you to just satisfy me privately. So what happens to my conscience? Your conscience is still with you. Mine is with me. I'm just saying that you will continue, continue doing it in secret. Nobody will know. This is not fair. Like, this is not supposed to be this way. I know. But just continue helping me, please. Let me be. Can't you see reasons with me? I knew it. I knew it. I knew you never loved me. I knew that when you are done with me, you would just trash me out like a piece of shit. I knew you were just taking advantage of my weakness. How could you say a thing like that? Were you not the one that told me that you would not do anything to hurt your sister? Were you not the one that promised me that whatever thing we shared will not have effect in our marriage? Is that why you want to throw me out like a piece of shit? I am not throwing you out like a piece of shit. I'm only trying to make you understand that we need to do the right thing. We need to stop what we are doing. Fine. Fine. If you want to do the right thing, then you just grant me this wish. Just one more night. And I promise you I will not disturb you again. <laughs> 